Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Selenium Python tutorial, we are going to learn how to install Selenium and start writing our first script with Selenium and Python. So till now, we have followed the steps to install Python, which is the first step. Then we have installed the editor, which is PyCharm, so where we can write our script, our Python Selenium script and execute that. So for that, we have the editor and in the editor, we have configured the interpreter version that we'll be using. So I have explained in detail the version that you have to choose in the editor. So you have to be very clear if you're using a Mac computer, Python 2 by default is installed in the Mac. And then on top of that, you'll be installing Python 3. So you have to choose Python 3 from the dropdown before you actually start working with Selenium with Python, right? So once you are done with all those steps the next step is to install selenium now at, in selenium with java we have to in order to install selenium we either download the jar file manually and configure it in the project or we use maven project where we can use the pom.xml we can specify the dependency in the pom.xml and the dependencies or the selenium dependencies be automatically downloaded and configured within the project. Now, similarly, in Python landscape, you have the thing called pip. And what exactly is pip? Let's go ahead and search a little bit about it on Google. And I'll explain what exactly it is and what's the advantage, right? So let me go to google.com and search for Python pip and if you go to this official PyPy website so you can see the pip is the package installer for Python right so as we used to download and install packages manually pip does it automatically for us so what we can do is we can simply use the command pip and uh, I'll show you how you can use the command and install those packages. So as soon as you run the command, the package will be installed or downloaded and installed automatically. You don't have to do any manual process of putting that package in a specific location to configure it within your pro project. So pip is same thing, uh, or you can correlate that uh, to similar as pom file in Java with Selenium. So Selenium with Java, as we have seen the Maven build, so we have pom file. And in the POM, we specify the dependencies that we want to use. Similarly, in Python, we will use pip to install the dependencies that we need to write our Selenium script with Python. Okay, so you can say it is basically Python package index. Um, you can use this pip to install packages from Python package in index or any other indexes. So this is very important. So to install any of the packages, we'll be using pip command now when you install python pip automatically gets installed with the python so i'll show you if i go to the python installation i'll open the folder where uh, my python has been installed so we'll go to the c drive program files and here we'll go to the python 3.9 and here if we go to the scripts you will see that pip has been installed automatically, right? So pip.exe is available here, okay? Now let's go back to google.com and see the steps to install Selenium in this particular project, right? So what we'll do is we'll go to google.com and again, see the steps or find the steps to install Selenium. So just search for install Selenium Python and you will see this documentation here. So you can go to the PyPy as well. So what I'll do is I'll go to the PyPy.org and then see what are the installed Selenium, right? So Python language bindings for Selenium web driver. This is the project description and then the supported versions, etc. Now installing with pip, so if you have pip on your system, you can simply upgrade with this particular command. So pip install hyphen u selenium 
and if you want to install the fresh installation so the installation command is pip space install space selenium right so to check whether you have selenium installed on your machine or not simply go to the command prompt and you can run the command pip list and it will show you the packages that are installed on your machine right so here i can see that pip and setup tools are the only packages that are installed i do not see selenium in this particular list so that means selenium is not installed on my computer if you're on mac computer you have to specify pip 3 and then hyphen list to get the list of packages that are installed for python 3. if you want to see the list of packages that are installed for python 2 then you simply specify the command pip list uh, the reason for that is on my computer pa uh, python 2 by default comes uh, with the os so python 2 is already installed and on top of that you install python 3 so you have to specify python 3 or pip 3 when you are firing the command or putting the command for listing the packages of pip 3 okay or python 3 so now in order to install selenium what i have to do is i'll simply say pip install selenium that's the only command that i have to provide and hit enter so what this package installer pip will do is it will download the selenium bindings the libraries and it will put it in the specific location on my computer so simply enter and the installation should install so you can see that it's collecting it's downloading the selenium libraries and then it will install so you can see that successfully installed selenium 3.141.0 now if you want to check whether the installation has been successful simply say pip list and it will list the packages that are available now so selenium should be one of it right so selenium is being installed and it is available in the package list there all right now in order to go ahead and see some of the documentation for the selenium python so selenium python simply search for selenium python and let me go to google.com because and i'll search for selenium python documentation i don't see there is uh, official documentation but there is very good documentation that is available so selenium hyphen python this is the documentation that is available um, by you has provided this documentation so thanks to the author of this documentation by you uh, and this is very helpful documentation to go through and see what all uh, things that you can you know learn from this particular documentation so you can go through and read this documentation i'll be anyways going through this documentation and covering the key concepts myself as we go along with the video tutorials but if you are keen to go ahead and uh, learn a lot more detail um, in advance you can go through these documentation but i'll anyways cover all the things most of the things that are covered in this particular documentation right i don't believe that this is uh, official documentation so here you can see that this is not an official documentation so you can you are free to contribute to enhance this particular documentation right so here as well if we go and see the installation of selenium so let's say go to the installation part you will see the command has been provided so pip install selenium is what we have used and that has installed selenium for us on uh, our machine and we are now good to go ahead and start writing our first script with selenium and python so that's all for this tutorial hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching